welcome to season two of On The Spot. At On The Spot, we discuss the issues. She's young, sassy, bold and beautiful. She talks a lot, but uses this amazing gift of talking to raise awareness on a number of social ills within her community. She is one of very few female movie producer and director, and undeniably one of the best acts Sierra Leone has ever produced. She's the founder of Salon Lives Matter and the Henrietta Mbawa Foundation. She left her home with just about 15,000 Leones to free town, but with the determination to make it big. She has been taking advantage of just like many women across Africa, but she refused to let it all define her. She's a strong woman who has seen it all. She is Henrietta Bauer, and this is On The Spot. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. I know I got you. Mm. That was the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's good to have you. Finally. <laughs> Finally on the show. Mm. Yes. Let me Finally, hear Finally, I Let know me. you got me there. Like you threw me just right on that device. Thank you for having me finally. And for telling my 15,000 little stories. <laughs> I know you are now. <laughs> No, but I mean, for me, I found it, you remember, you remember at NASA's event and you shared a little bit of your story and I was just taken aback and, I, and all I could think about was just, wow, this is a strong woman. And I remember when you told me like, Stella, you can't believe I came with just only 15,000 Leons to Ude, Ude Motoka, For that matter, I was given a lift. You know, the wow. lorry that... Carry yeah, the wood. Carry the wood. Yeah, that was wow. a lift. Yeah, Ude Ude Motoka. So it's not just the 15,000. Wow. Ude Ude. <laughs> look at you. Okay, let's go back. Go back to, the, to, to where you came from. What was okay. like, life like for you that made you decide, I'm coming to Freetown and... Somehow you just had 15,000 and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to come still. I'm going to come. So let's hear. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for having me. <laughs> Finally on Finally. the sport. You're doing an amazing job uh, throwing spotlight on us women. Yes. I think this is what we should be doing every now and again. And yes. thank you for always supporting me. Yeah. If I'm here today, I'm still here doing everything that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You've played a role wow. in all of this. So bravo to Wakanda. you. Yeah. Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> bravo to you. Okay. Uh, so um, I grew up, I was born in McKinney. Uh, started schooling there, so my mom took us back to Bo. Okay. And so I did part of my primary school and part of my secondary school there. And so one day, uh, my cousins were coming to Freetown mm -hmm. for holidays and all that. They came for holiday... From Freetown? From, from Bo. From they, Bo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they came for holiday mm -hmm. and one other cousin left with them and went to that cousin was living here. Mm -hmm. So she went, she took Roland, you know, Roland, yeah, just yeah. one Roland like that. Uh, she took the short Roland and she said that Roland was for the three of us. But she, the way she made this Roland looked, you yeah. understand? And for the first time I had opportunity to use something, you understand, that changed. Sorry, this was when? <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta ask that curious question. This is when? I can't really remember. Before people start calculating <laughs> my age, age and say, okay. that's <laughs> more peculiar. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's go ahead. Okay, so she took Roland, you understand? This Roland, she took it and all that. The yeah. thing is, it's not the age. I was not exposed to things like that. Yeah. I grew up in a society where mm. they were giving me cloth to wrap and use when I'm, I would see my messes and all that. Wow. You understand? So it was later, later, I, was, I started realizing that, oh, okay, not to do so. Mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. for use and all that yeah. so i grew up in a, a very humble background, background yeah. and so she took this roll on she made this roll on look extraordinary but the roll on was meant for the three of us 
You understand? Three we were sharing. Like, yeah, sisters, three ladies. Brothers, we were, uh, sisters. We were sharing. Okay. The Roland, like everybody and all that before going to school. Everyone was sharing. But there was something about that Roland, the way she presented the Roland mm. and all that. It makes you like, okay, people from the city. This okay. is the ben benefit that comes okay. with you being in, living city. in the city and oh, all that. Wow. It was just the rule on. So um, wow. my cousins came for holiday. They went. They gave me stories about the beach. By then, I don't know what beach were. They gave me stories about some Bangura building. And, uh, they didn't oh. even know the name. It was just, hey, if you see the Upgaret then, <laughs> if you see the mighty story building and all wow. that. So I was this child that was very eager to come see this free town, to see the beach. I uh, have an opportunity to look at the Sambagura building, the, the story buildings and all that. Wow. I have an opportunity probably to get my own roll on. That's one thing that I fell in love with, okay. you understand? Oh, to wow. own it on my own. I say, okay, now you only me one. I can't share it with anybody. <laughs> so that was what uh, got me to tell interested. my mom. Yeah, interested okay. of coming to. I remember the first time I told my mom that I wanted to come for holidays. She was like, no, 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 no. You go to free Sunday. I don't go there, then they pour all the picking away there, and then they pour. You know, you go there, they are and all that. So she gave me a target. Say, if you if you try, you can't force. Not so, you know, for day that the second thought says, if you can't force, then I go use and say, yeah, I go talk to me, brother, wow. for let you come. On all my free time, I said, okay. So I tried. I became the best child at that time. I go wow. wake early in the morning, I go sweep, quick, yeah. quick, I go clean, I go you this, need I go that. You needed to repeat her, you needed yeah, to. Yeah, because it, yeah. the whole time, the whole time, it was just free time, free time, free time, roll on and all that. Because I could still, that, that, that roll on, if I had the opportunity to take it to school, I would steal it and take it to school and show all my <laughs> friends that. That this is what people yeah, yeah. this is what changed your smell and all mm -hmm. that. You know, growing up, we didn't, we were not exposed yeah. to hygiene. You understand? We don't know as in uh, hygiene was just washed with soap and that's it. Yeah. So having a roll on and all, going to, I mean, having an opportunity to go get yours. And when I rub them for the first time, I saw that when I went to school, my friends, they noticed, they noticed a change. I oh. add to my confidence <laughs> and all that. And so my friends around me were excited because I was smelling different from them. Mm. For once, I felt like, you know, this big person among that on top of them and all that so that wow. was what inspired the whole thing it wasn't doing for me to come stay or uh, anything mm. it was just holiday okay. come for holidays and uh go back after the holidays okay. so you were supposed to come for a holiday you had fifteen thousand euros <laughs> and you like you mentioned free ride right. on Ude, Ude. Ude. <laughs> how did that even how did that even happen my cousin and I, my eldest cousin, baby Lucy, we were very close uh, growing up as a child. And so my mom said, uh, there is this week, because, because my mom, by them, coming to Freetown was very, very difficult. Okay. The road was terrible from boat to, you take a whole day to get here. Mm -hmm. So, and my mom could not trust anybody but my eldest cousin mm -hmm. and say, okay, if you are to go there for holidays, it means you need to go with somebody Someone that, that you, I can trust. Yeah, she knows. And luckily for us, there was this truck that comes to us, our neighbor, like the uh, net, uh, house just next to us. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this truck that come there every now and again that takes uh, wood from boat to Freetown yeah. and all that. That was the business that one of the uh, neighbors were doing. Mm -hmm. So my mom had to go talk to the woman and say, please, if you're going to, is there a way that you give them a ride to Freetown and all that? If you're going, yeah. that was how they and, said And you yes. say them, so yes. it's not, it wasn't just you. It wasn't, yeah, myself and my eldest and cousin, end, my, okay. yeah. So mm -hmm. they gave us a ride, we sat in front of the truck. Wow. took me the whole day i couldn't sleep i couldn't wink my eyes because excited. i was excited <laughs> coming and all that and for me that was you know that was the biggest thing that uh, that ever happened to oh, me wow. back then and all that so i was really excited it wasn't about the the truck i couldn't even see that it was with the, with the motor mm -hmm. we had all these buses that were passing mm -hmm. by and all that wow. private vehicles and all that it didn't even so, cross so my mind so when you got to yeah. freetown first of all who were you coming to in freetown we're coming to my uncle, Your uncle. My so uncle. how was it like when you got into freetown did it disappoint you <laughs> For you, like, what was it like when you got into Freetown? My Freetown, Freetown, right there. My uncle was living at Freebay Road. We didn't 
didn't even know. I didn't even know by then that that was not even free town. <laughs> <laughs> free town, free town. Okay. That was just east the end of free town, yeah, the yeah. outskirts of free town. You understand? But for me, that was my free town. You understand? Mm -hmm. I know that. Okay, central part. There is a central part of free town, yeah. west end, where all the things happens and all mm -hmm. that. So me it was just that. And when we got there, my uncle, I had when I got there. When I got to the house, the palm body, you understand? Oh, wow. Yes, for everybody, it was palm body, uh, no, um, board house. Board house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bodos, yeah. nabi bodos, na 100, 102, I can never forget. Oh, wow. Although they don't, they don't. I wish you got pictures of it. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, how oh. I wish. Oh, wow. By then, my dear. Uh, no care, Tati, three ten. Etta, you're not taking this way. I remember <laughs> Then uh, you, you had Nokia 3310. <laughs> you, I remember you, I used to, this cousin of mine, she had Nokia 3310. If you see, she was like the princess in the house. She would come and bluff all of us and we'll all be sitting down there. Yeah. One day yeah. we'll have Nokia 3310. And look at where we are today. Go ahead, darling. So I got there, uh, Bodos, you understand? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, wow. You understand? Because that was the first time I saw people because in the provinces we don't have that people living in both houses yeah. and all that we have them as shops but we don't have that as, as a, a dwelling, dwelling house place. you understand yeah. nobody you know, in the provinces mm -hmm. and all that so when i came it was excited for me and i was opposite there was connot you know, uh, uh, cottage, cottage. Right, uh, cottage. Okay. and so for me i get to see people every now and again you understand and but uh, doing uh, i was there i wanted then i started thinking about how can i make my uncle and my auntie see reasons it's why for, to stay. for me to stay oh, wow. you understand i i that i don't know how so it what, happened how, how did you do it i don't know so what i did coming from the provinces i know that i was not coming to my mom or my dad mm -hmm. it was my aunt and my uncle mm -hmm. so i needed to be a child you understand that they will miss okay you understand oh, so I had you to the place they had kids yeah. but i needed to be that child that they will miss mm -hmm. if they should let me go that they will miss mm -hmm. so that short time that i was there i wake up first thing in the morning before they wake up i don't Dave. clean all side don't walk <laughs> don't jackass a girl don't on a mission a girl on the mission <laughs> don't book don't jackass and no don't yeah. cook I'm coming from a province to be cook yeah. don't cook fine fine one and all that and because i be the cook for my auntie don't get in substitute somebody <laughs> she liked it she fell in love with me at all in the morning when the man gave her money she had to look at the money for so me I go to the so I took control of the whole house wow. yeah, in the shortest possible time I took control of the whole house and all wow. that. So one day we sat there talking myself and my auntie and all that so she was like hey I get for miss you I will miss you when going back and all that. I said, but there's a way that you do, that you not get to miss it. She said, how? I said, you know, if you look for a school for me here, wow. you understand? You know I will not return because if you find a school for me and you persuade your, or your husband, if you get the school for me, you just tell my mom that you find a school wow. for me and all that. I said, my mom will be pleased with that. I've never discussed that with my mom. I know that was not something that my mom would look forward to. Yeah. But that was me trying to manipulate my yes. auntie. Yes. You understand? To see reasons why I needed to stay. to stay. So, uh, but because the time was late, it was getting late and all mm -hmm. that. And, uh, and my results and all that, everything was just, I mean, in a rush. In and a rush. Not, yes. So she tried, she got to school for me. She got her Madea for me. When she got, that was the only, by then, and one way transport and all that. Yeah. And so she got her Madea for me. I was coming from a Catholic school, you understand? Yeah, so the transition school. and all that, and a, a girl's school, you understand? Oh, wow. I started a girl's school and all. Mm -hmm. So how the transition and all, but I was not even thinking, I did not even see reasons uh, why I needed to say, no, I don't want this school, mm -hmm. I want this. In fact, that was the only school that was introduced Available. to me. I mean, that was introduced, you understand? Yeah. To them, that was the only school that they knew. And that was the school I knew. So I went to Amadea after that. I called my mom. My mom was crying on the phone. No, I don't want you to go there. And also I told my mom. I said uh, two things. If we don't take it now, you understand? If we don't take the risk now, when 
when, when do you think yeah. you take the risk? I see how you struggle every now and again to put food on the table. I see how you go about being the strong woman. You understand? Mm -hmm. Even though you cover up things for us not to yeah. see. But I see how much you go out of your way to make things happen. Mm -hmm. I said, this is an opportunity for you to allow your, uh, your brother to, to take, take some of that some responsibility, of that responsibility yeah. and all that. Look at it that way. And don't, I mean, you raise a woman. You understand? You, wow. I, by then I was a girl, but I told my, my mom that you raise a woman and a champion for that matter. So don't think about anything negative. Just see this as an opportunity mm -hmm. that we use to break boundaries and all that. Is so your mom still it. alive? She's still ah. Uh, my mom's strong warrior. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's still alive. Is she in Freetown? She lives with me. Or Ah, that one. Okay, we're going, to, yeah, we're going yeah. to get into <laughs> details on how yeah, this has yeah, progressed. Yeah, yeah. We'll take a quick break. I know you're excited. We'll yeah. take a quick break. We'll be back. This is Henrietta Bawa. We'll be back. Domestic revenue mobilization is a key instrument for the government of Sierra Leone in reducing poverty, increasing financial independence, achieving middle income status, and charting the path for new directions. From supporting the free quality education, good roads, healthcare, electricity, and more. Domestic revenue mobilization is very critical when it comes to national development. Through the Asikoda world, we have developed beautiful management tools. We have also developed um, systems in which it will bring transparency and help to the, to the importer, to the broker. ITAS is a platform for all your domestic taxes. The electronic cash register system is the game changer. Let's support government by paying our taxes. For more information, visit the nearest NRA office or log on to our website www.nra gov.sl Setting up a business can be a headache. Finding office space, buying furniture, printers and photocopiers. But if you're not ready for all that, BSI can help. BSI provides furnished and serviced office spaces for the short or medium term. Whether it's for a day meeting, a conference or an immediate office rental for a few months. There are no long-term cost commitments and the offices are fully equipped with all your office needs. Or we can simply provide you with a prestigious business address thanks to one of our virtual offices. Find out more about BSI, your office away from the office. Go to bsisl.com or call 076-242-328. All right, welcome back. With me here is Henrietta Bauer, a.k.a. Ekta. Mm. I need to declare my throat for that. <clears throat> so, now this journey to Freetown clearly wasn't a smooth journey, or your stay in Freetown wasn't quite smooth. I remember um, during um, the event, uh, NASA's book launch, you had mentioned that you were also a survivor, and for me that was really um, touching, you know. Can you tell us really what happened? Okay, uh, I think that was the first time I came already onto Nancy yeah. knew all the series and all that, because mm -hmm. uh, she's a survivor. Yeah. And so, so she for wanted, people yeah. wondering, uh, survivor of rape yeah, survivor and of sexual rape, assault. Yeah. Yeah. So there is this guy. Uh, anyways, I don't want... Cause I'm still finding, I'm still looking for when I'll have that time to deal with that issue because I haven't dealt with it properly. So he was my friend. He was older than me. He was a friend, myself and all the uh, two other ladies and all that. We were all friends and all that. So there was this time we went for a Saturday lesson. He went, picked me up from a lesson after that. We went to his house. It was normal. We've been going there before. Got there. One to let to another, that guy raped me. The process, wow. I had over uh, 15 stitches on my leg as a result of me wow. fighting and all that, trying to fight, 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 and fight. And, uh, but the most difficult part of it is the fact that when he raped me, I got pregnant. I didn't know. 
it took a friend of mine, she's late now, baby J. The stepmom was uh, the then uh, 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 head of uh, this hospital, Bull Government Hospital, so mm -hmm. uh, women something something at the hospital, she's a nurse and all that. I went there one day, uh, I went to the house, I was there, she, she saw me, she knew something was wrong with me. My dad couldn't even tell my mom. And so I opened up to her. She took me in, had an abortion at that time. Wow. My mom didn't know. It was later that then I opened up her. to my mom and told my mom about it. And later being how long? And later, this is over 18 years or so. Wow. Yeah. That thing, uh, I don't get to talk about it because any time I tend to talk about it, it comes very fresh, fresh and all that. You mm -hmm. live with it. Yeah. And that is why most times, I, I mean, people think that, oh, she's very, very, she's a hard nut to crack and all that. She's very controversial and all that. That thing left a whole scar in me that now I don't... When it comes to men, me being around men, whether it has to do with me working with men and all that, I'm very, yeah. very much overprotective and I uh, tend to not misunderstand, but I'm just too overprotective yeah. of myself and all that. I know it's difficult. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I can yeah. imagine. Uh. What, from that, have you uh. ever met that man ever since? Uh, yes, he's there and he knew what he did uh, some years back. He came to me because he was married, and he, and had, he was married he, he when was, this happened. No, he wasn't was married. He was yes, okay. he was in school by then. He was in university. No, he was in school in Bo. So uh, he was married when he came one day, and he apologizes because he had this wife. They had two babies, and problem one problem on the other. The wife had serious problem in giving birth and all that. Still, part from one problem. So uh, their pastor told him. Wow. You understand that you did something, you need to apologize to somebody and all that. That was when he finally reached out to me and you know, we talked about it and also I told him, I have forgiven you because I had to forgive him. It wasn't yeah. for him anymore, it was for myself because it took me 18 years, Stella. Anytime I see this guy, anytime I see this guy, I'll just, something with me will just disappear. I'll see myself in a shallow, you understand? I see myself frustrated and you understand, you know, like you just want to say, you hold him to say, yeah. tell your, tell your story to people so that yeah. perhaps you save other people or you help other people to come out and say, okay, this happened to me before and all that. So that happened to me for the past 18 years. Anytime I see him, uh, I'll be this, this, it's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not oh, wow. something that I do talk about every Very now often. and again. It's not something that I enjoy talking about. Yeah. Because for any time I tend to talk about it, it tends to break me. And I don't see myself as a weak person. Mm -hmm. So anything that gives me that energy to make me look weak, mm -hmm. Yeah, and vulnerable yeah. is something that I no, tend to shy away It's absolutely away not on you. Yeah. It's on yeah. him. Yeah. It's on yeah. him. And you're yeah. a strong woman. Look at, yeah. look at, yeah. look at you, Etta. Yeah. Yeah. Etta, you're an amazing woman. You, yeah. you're literally one of the best acts there are. I mean, I mm. watch you every now and then when you're emceeing, when you're doing your Miss Manor Reaper Union, you're doing your various social campaigns. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. And, did that experience in any way inspire some of the things you're doing today? Because you're you're such a you've got a huge voice and you advocate on so many issues from women's issues to drug abuse to teenage pregnancy. I, I could go on with the list. I think uh, that it's not just that my upbringing. You understand? My, my, I came from a very humble background and that has helped me. That has helped to mold me every now and again. I keep reminding myself of the 15,000 news, the woody woody lorry and all that. I think that has helped me to be where I am today. And this situation, people see, okay, I do my advocacy. I'm very, very much passionate about yeah. it. You understand? I do it. I remember... Uh, Few years ago, uh, I was coming from an event myself, and some other girls were coming from an event. 
uh, late at night around uh, Kisi Road. Uh, what's it called? Kisi Road. Uh, uh, Not very familiar with the Yeah, the, the Kisi Road, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we were taking one turn. I saw young girls around 3 a.m. Young girls were there fetching water and you had the skies yeah. around and all that. I wanted to come down. My friends are like, oh, it's dangerous and all that. With that, the way we're dressed and all, mm -hmm. you don't need to come down this time. Let's don't, don't put our lives at risk. So I said, no, I'm coming down. You guys sit in the car. I'll leave the car beating and all that. Hold the key. You can drive. Come to the thing. If anything, you drive off a call police. But I'm coming down. I need to ask these girls. Because when I saw those girls, you understand? I said, these are people that are so vulnerable yeah. and all that. Stella and I hold Lee and solely went there. When I went there, I saw one particular girl that, 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 that attracted me. There's this young girl that attracted me that made me got off the car. I went there. Uh, she was pregnant, very, very young. Uh -huh. I went there, spoke with her and I asked who impregnated her. Why was she there fishing water at that time? She looked at me and said, Oh no. I don't have a money where we are up the hills and all that. My mom does not have 1,000 years for one rubber. And so they need every day, they spend like 15,000. They, if they have to buy water, yeah. it means they will have to spend like 15,000 15, years. You understand for the water to, for them to get water. And it was during that time because the mon mom does not have the money to pay so it was during that time any time that she would come down to get the water late at night the guys there that will help her advantage. they took advantage of her and she doesn't know who she was pregnant for stella that very night with all everything that i was wearing i had to tie my dress you understand go back to the car I told my friends if they are not coming down to help they would i'll have to put them there but everybody needs to come down and help we had to take the water from the girls, pay the other boys. We went, I had to knock. The woman came out, she was very aggressive, but I so saw, I had to talk to her. Came back the other day to see because I couldn't sleep. I saw myself, you understand? When you came out from a situation like yeah. that, it's only by the grace of God and all yeah. that. Some of us are alive today and all that. So when you see things like that, you don't just pass by. You understand? Because it, I mean, the whole thing plays back. Yeah. It's like a playback of your yeah. life to you you understand so that's why i'm very very much passionate we went the other day spoke to the the woman and all took the baby to the hospital for the very first time the girl to the hospital holy we realized that she was hiv positive oh, wow. at that time yes she was hiv positive at that time. and that was our first time to go to like up to now the only good thing is the fact that the baby is still safe. The baby is safe. The baby, the baby is now yeah. seven years old, wow. and we still take care of that child up through to your now, foundation, through my foundation, the and all Henry that. Bar yes, foundation. But all those things comes from the fact that I am a rape victim myself, and uh, that thing helped me. Gives me all this, the zeal, the the energy. Where the, that's where all my energy comes from. All where. I get my energy to talk and not be afraid to talk about the yeah. issues. And, and I see, uh, women using young people in drug and alcohol yeah. abuse and all that. They are vulnerable to all that. I see myself uh, growing up in a community where we didn't have opportunities. There were no opportunities. I, I was raised by a woman, a single woman. You understand? All she knew was business, go to the market, buy and sell and try to put food on our table. So it took the grace of God. For us to, to be here. So, it, yeah. So that's why any opportunity that I have to talk about issues, mm -hmm. I don't just talk about it. Yeah. I give it my all because I'm very passionate about it. I'm coming from, from that, that line. Similar it's a similar situation. And, and, and where does Salon Lives Matter come in? Because you have the Henrietta Bar Foundation. Um, clearly, it seems like it's focused on issues surrounding rape yeah. and girl empowerment. Mm -hmm. Then where does the Salon Lives Matter um, organization come in and what work does it do? Okay, so Henrietta Bauer Foundation, it's, uh, we advocate for women and girls empowerment. Mm -hmm. You understand? That is rape. And, to, uh, and we do donation to women that are living in deprived communities mm -hmm. through uh, our sponsors, our donors and all that. Mm -hmm. We tend to reach out to uh, uh, schools. I have uh, uh, NGOs in schools, mm -hmm. but the kids are running it. It's the TOK wow. with mixes at a year. We have it uh, in over 20 schools in wow. Freetown alone, yeah, because I don't have 
the finances as well yeah, to do the to provinces do. and all that. So all that falls under the Henrietta Bauer Foundation. Okay. When we, what we do, we go to schools every week. We do one school with one Friday. No, people say, oh, uh, time you were putting it on TV. Why not put it? Some issues you can't deal with you it, it on it TV. Public, yeah. you, you can't put it on the public and that for the stigma and everything. So sometimes you just, and you want people to trust you. You want these kids to trust you and all that. You want their parents to trust you and all yeah. that when you're dealing with issues like that you uh, besides you want to feel satisfied that you will help to save one child you understand so to no, you're not doing it for the publicity you're not yeah. doing it because you want to have fame and all mm -hmm. that so all this we do it under the Henrietta Bauer Foundation yeah. and the Sierra Leone Lives Matter one problem that we have in Sierra Leone and one thing that has been a problem until tomorrow if we don't change that that is the same thing that we have. It is not that, okay, we don't have jobs or we don't have this, we don't have that. Our problem is our mindset. Absolutely. Attitudinal change is our yes. problem in Sierra Leone. Yes. It is the attitudinal change that brings the bad heart, yeah. the, the women not supporting yeah. each other, you understand? That people seeing that, okay, it's Etta, why should it be Etta, why should it be exactly. Stella and all yeah. that. It's all the mindset <laughs> of people. So Sierra Leone Lives Matter is an advocacy organization. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do, we advocate for good governance, you understand, and attitudinal change. Because yeah. we believe that if we change, even if they put people, it's only when your mindset is changed. That is why when they give you authorities, when they give you power, when they give you a power in governance, you work for the people, yes, you understand. You absolutely. will not work against the people, mm -hmm. you understand. It is only when we change our attitude to the common things, because it all starts from the homes. Yeah. If we change our attitude to the street pumps, it starts from the street pumps. That people go there and spoil the street pumps. It starts from the cables, the electrical cables that us, the citizens, will go and, and steal from it yeah. and put it in our house. It's all start from us. The people working on the streets, throwing that on the street, thinking yeah. that, okay, government should take care mm -hmm. of it. If we all start to play our part, yes. if we all take our responsibilities of our actions and see that, okay, attitude not change. If I want to see a better scenario, it yeah. means I need to change my attitude and my mindset from the smaller things that I do, whether it's corruption. I tell people, <laughs> corruption doesn't only play out there. It starts yes, from the house. From the, ha from the exactly. homes, the, the parents start in the corruption. That's how the kids go mm -hmm. to see yes, mm -hmm. the corruption. So yeah. if we all play our part, you understand, change our attitudes, change our mindset. That is why I said Sierra Leone has given so much to me. I need to give back to Sierra And Leo. indeed you did that. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I know during the Ebola period, yeah. You were literally on the forefront. You were yeah. one of those people who were on the forefront. Mm. You did a lot of campaigns, sensitization work, raising awareness. How were you able to get that done? Stella, are, I think the love for what I do and the grace of God, that first I can't take, the grace. Yeah. It's a grace that wakes me up every now and again with all the energy that I have to yeah. do, everything that I'm doing. It's the grace that wakes me up every morning and gives me all this uh, 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 ideas. ideas on what yeah. to do, how to put your campaigns together, or how to send your message out there. So when you get out there, people will see that, yes, this is something that they need to see mm -hmm. and emulate. This is something that they need to work mm -hmm. into, uh, work towards as in to change the society and all that. And so, uh, first it's the grace. And after that, it's the joy of doing things that would change the mindsets yeah. of people that would change if we all if we want to see a better Sierra Leone. Yeah. Everybody wake us up we wake up every now and again saying, oh we need a change in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. We need a change in Sierra Leone. Yeah. Stella but we change all have to will be not part of happen the if we don't be part of the change. Yeah. If, matter of fact it's not just being part of the change. It's be the change. Being the change. Yeah. You can't ask for something that you're not willing to give out. Yes. You understand? We have to be the change. Mm -hmm. So that is where all these things so every now and again when I wake up in the morning to see that oh i did a campaign on this day i remember uh during the mod slide somebody called me and say thank you very much i'm like what did i do she said you saved my life i watched one skit that you did that you said uh uh people need to leave their deep uh, 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 uh prone a disaster yeah, prone disaster, areas yeah. you understand go to other areas and all that they should not wait for government and all that said that was what saved me because i watched it and I, we were laughing and i told my sisters that i was leaving and all that i left wow. i left yes i left uh two weeks to that because i did that video wow. after two weeks that was when that thing happened so uh 
I get to put my resources together, Stella. It's not just easy. It's not as if, okay, putting the idea is one thing. The Getting resources, the resources. Yeah. Because the people are feeling, I can't do it all. I have cameramen that are working. Mm -hmm. I have editors that are working and, and all that. Paid. They need to yeah. make money. They need to be paid. They have families and all that. That is my dream. I, if you want to believe in my dream, you believe in my dream doesn't mean that you have to struggle mm. with me to make my dreams yeah. in reality. No, you need I'll to just... I'll tell that to some Sarah yeah, Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know them. <laughs> yes, we okay. know them. <laughs> you have a dream doesn't mean that I was in that dream with you. You understand? Yeah. It means that I just need to back Support you, but when you, it's here, yeah, yeah, and that's it. You understand? It. So all the works that I do for like all the other jobs that I do, whether it's movie that I'm producing or yeah. acting yeah. or probably content that I'm creating for yeah. companies for like adverts and all that mm -hmm. all this money or friends helping wow. out you so understand you put them, we in put there. them okay. into the okay. we're, we're gonna yeah. take another break um of course this is on the spot we i, I told you she talks in <laughs> the time but i told you as well she uses this special <laughs> gift for so much social good in the community we're gonna now come to your work you're an actress, you're a producer, you're a director. We don't have a lot of females <laughs> doing all this. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm still curious. How did you even get into acting? But we'll take a break and we'll be back. <laughs> the ball as a term, I don't lay behind this The English language question paper. It's only 500,000 euros per person. Good night, you Young lady, yes, you can wait. I want to discuss something with you. Okay. As I don't tell you earlier, I get all the question papers there. Mr. Kamala, please stop. Stop. You can't be an old corporate. Why are you playing me sad to get? Or oh, you want to spend the rest of your life to take this old exam again? What about if I'm still with you tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, sir. Okay, 12 o'clock. Come with me. Who is it? Oh! Can I say, can I say? Young lady. Good afternoon, sir. You're more beautiful than sex. Thank you very much, sir. Wow. Look at your Wow. Can't close to me. I'm telling you, all the leakages in this, I don't lay my hands on them. I get them all in different subjects. Yes, sir. I'll be working with you. Sure, sure. I'm still on you. Squad from Anti Corruption Commission. Mister, you're under arrest. Officer, you're under arrest. What's your name? Job, what do you do? What do you do? Let me go. No vent. We, the teachers, them, we will always be role models. We will never get involved in such a shameful act. Hello? Hello, Mr. Abu. I am calling for your rental tax payment. Oh, my goodness. Hello? This is a call from the... Your colleague is on the other line. Can you just please hold... You are a landlord or property agent? You don't hear about rental income tax? 
As property owner or agent where they collect rent, the law say you for pay tax and a you tax identification number where they call team you they use for pay them. Yes, me fumble them. The law say without this tax identification number, you no go able to pay your tax. And if you no pay your tax, the law go bet you tranga tranga one. Welcome, sir. Please sit. Thank you. We don't make them easy for you now. The law say, mm -hmm. since you the collect rent we pass 7.2 million leons, mm -hmm. you for come to NIA and pay your rental tax just after we you tenants don't pay you down. So no more calls from everywhere. You go just get one SMS or one phone call. We go remind you, sir. Thank you very much. For no more, go to any NIA office near you or visit www.nia.gov.sl. Remember, paying taxes is required by law. We want to bring to the attention of this nation that the effect of early marriage, teenage pregnancies, rape, child prostitution, gender-based violence against women have to be looked into by everyone in this country. Because of the above issues, we have a considerable number of people affected by HIV AIDS, fistula, infertility, and the highest rate of infant and child mortality in the world. The government of Sierra Leone, led by His Excellency the President Julius Madubio, are now very determined to formulate our own solution to the unique problem we faced. Well, for us at the Rainbow Center, all gender-based violence survivors should receive free medical attention in all government-owned and government-assisted hospitals. Yes. We should ensure that we meet every man in their own corners and educate them that women have to be respected. I'm even shocked that he could step so low to rip a gun. All right, welcome back. For those of you just tuning in, this is On The Spot. And a special shout out to my sponsor, the National Revenue Authority for, you know, just basically supporting us to bring this amazing conversation to you. So big shout out to them. And I do still have with me here, Henry Et Etabawa. Etabawa. <laughs> um, Etta, so before we went on the break, I was going to ask how you got into acting. And, and you know, oh my God, Etta, you do like a million and one things. It's unbelievable. I mean, literally this show is not enough to catalog all your work, but... We'll do a little bit of justice to it. So how did Etta, this little, beautiful, spirited, determined Etta, who left home and decided I'm coming to Freetown, how did you get into acting? Uh, acting. And how did you become so good at it, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Not just acting, but... <laughs> okay, so I tell people every now and again, I act every day, 24 hours around the mm. clock, you understand? Okay, I started acting when I was really young. When I was really, really young, uh, they had this drama group in Bo, okay. Highlandu Theatre. So I was the youngest. Ah. Yeah, I was the youngest, but that was just stage performance okay. and all that. And so when I came to Freetown, um, uh, the MC I got, I met, God bless his soul, Beatus. Beatus ah. was doing center stage years back at Boogies. There's ABC TV King. Mm. So they, they had this show that he was producing and presenting at movies. I went there, we got talking. He looked at me and said, ah, you be a fun girl. You have a voice and all that. Come be on TV and all that. Yeah. And so he gave me the opportunity. But the only thing he told me, like, this, Mike, you hold it. And I remember, you, you might test me, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was it. My friends kept laughing. They gave wow. me a name, you, you, you. But I was very, very shy then because wow. of the name that they were calling me and all okay. that. So uh, Kim Milan met me again. We kept talking and he told me, have you tried TV? I said, no, come, you'll be a fine art. 
strike TV and all that. Wow. All this while, I couldn't see that. Okay, for me, they were seeing all this thing. I never but saw. You couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. And so finally, B, uh, Uzorex one day gave me an opportunity again to be on the stage. They invited him to host an e uh, event, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Miss Magai Beauty Pageant Show mm -hmm. and all that. And so he called me and said, "Come, let's go host this event." And all. I went to the stage. We did first runs. By the time he realized it, uh, he left me on stage and went and to another <laughs> event that he had collected money for on that same day. <laughs> so that was how the whole thing started. Wow. And so when um uh originally Blood Diamond, when they wanted to do the Blood Diamond and all that. Yeah. So a friend of mine told me that let's go for this audition and all that. Uh they're doing this movie Blood mm -hmm. Diamond and all. So we went for the audition. After that my friend Augustus Amor Joe Thomas, I told him, I said, you know, we can produce, we can own our own production house and all wow. that. That was then, uh, 15, 18 years ago. Wow. You understand? 18 years, you're telling somebody that let's start a production house. Yeah. They'll look at you and say, okay, you're not serious. Yeah. My family, everybody think that, oh, you're not serious. Now this is one company. I said, Augustus, let's do this thing and all that. So we started our own production company for the first time. We produced a, a movie wow. years ago. That was, 18 years, I'm telling you, we produced our, our, our first Clearly movie. Clearly, one of the very first few, maybe if not the first, the first female, female producer. Yeah, producer, then, if wow. not the first female producer back then. You understand? By then, uh, yes. So we produced this uh, movie, but then we were just doing it mm. for the due sake, because for the passion, yeah. you understand? It wasn't now that we're doing it for showbiz. Yeah. You understand? That is a business. Mm -hmm in the show and yes. all that then it was just showbiz oh, yeah, yeah now it's showbiz, showbiz. yeah <laughs> not 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 passion because passion does not put food on yeah. your table you understand passion is when you put the effort and turn that passion into yeah. something you monetize that we, it you monetize, you monetize the passion it. that yeah. is it yes yeah. so that was how we started the whole acting thing mm -hmm. we got to that point uh when i started directing was when uh, Brett Ford, there's this organization in Germany, they mm -hmm. came to Sierra Leone after the Ebola, they wanted to train filmmakers. So I was the few people that was opportunity. I went okay. for the training, even though I was an established uh, actress, they needed people. So people were like, ah, where, where would you go there? You established. And I said, no, I want the knowledge. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going there. So I went there, we went, they trained us, camera, filmmaking, uh, producing, acting, writing directing and all that so i said okay let me try uh writing and directing you understand so that was why i so tried you write it. as well i write as wow. well most of my movies funnily enough people don't know oh, wow. i do write most of my stories yes from picking to picking uh the movie that was aired by even jatu jatu okay was yes a real yes strong yes story. yes jatu well jatu movie was the movie that got us to go for a berlin film festival in germany though i was sick but we had the visa, wow. visa. other people left yes i got um, i got i got i'm <laughs> like yeah <laughs> from, <laughs> from the first time we had some wow. unions that went for the black film festival festival in Germany and that movie was aired. Yeah, no. Beautiful. <laughs> that movie Beautiful. was screen. They had opportunities, met people, they travel with them. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, and and you are yeah. self taught. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean and yeah I'm you self, got that yeah. bit of yeah. that training but yeah. literally yeah. you're self taught. Yes yes. I wow. am self taught and all that. I try my so, like yeah, I, I just got to, <laughs> this is me saying, girl, you were just amazing. You were know, just so amazing. That movie, I wrote to Jatu, and there's this other movie, Peking for B. Peking, yes. that was screened on uh, the uh, what film, Euro European Film Festival. Wow. Yes, yes, that movie, I wrote and directed and produced that movie as well. Uh, uh, wow. Hands Off as a movie that I wrote and I co-produced that movie with Rainbow Initiative. Rainbow wanted, uh, they, they, ha they are operating in five provincial headquarter mm -hmm. towns, so I wanted to be part of it. Mm -hmm. I wanted, I wanted to adapt a one town and all that. So that is why I went to them and said, okay, I have an initiative where we would use it to uh, produce this movie and we use the money wow. to raise funds for this. So that movie as well was written and directed by, by Moi. And 
I acted in that. Oh, at her. Man, like, God, it's just it's so amazing. And, and how is it collaborating with other women? Because I, I, I see a few names that are pretty strong. Um, there's that of Sierra, she, she produces as yes, well. Yeah. There is Alimatu. Alimat, oh, DJ. Um, you know, DJ K. DJ K. Yes. Uh, okay. how, how is collaboration in this business with such people going like? Obviously, uh, Alimatu, Sia, these are people that came after us. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, it is due to the fact that the encouragement, like what we've done so yeah. far, these are people that saw yeah. what we've done and what we've done. And so this is how they got inspired. Mm. If women like Etta and all that can do that, we yeah, can do we that can as, do as, well. as well. And these are women that I have so much to expect for. You understand? The trend that's which they are coming, they are coming very, very strong. Yeah. Sometimes I look at them and say, Una, Una, I give me a run of all my money. <laughs> <laughs> so I give me a run wow. for my money and all that. But these are women that I have so much respect for, and we do collaborate. DJ K for me is one of the most strongest fine actresses like myself here in Syria. I yeah. respect her so much mm -hmm. and I love to work with her. Ah, that is one fine actress I enjoy yeah. working with as well. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, there's this other girl called uh, Gina, 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 okay. Gina, that's another lady that we do collaborate and I love working mm. with them and all that. Mm. It's only that you don't have more producers in Sierra Leone, mm. female producers. Female producers are not up to 10. You understand? Wow. The female producers are not up to 10. And how about directors? And directors, directors? No, I don't, I, I, I don't know female directors. Even me, I don't put myself out there. Even though over the years, I've directed a lot of, uh, uh, videos. Music and videos. I've directed a whole lot of music oh, and videos. Wow. I direct, what people don't know, even deep in the game, I was part of the directing team as well. You understand? People wow. don't know that. And, and, I don't get to bring myself out there as a director. Yeah. And, and how is the industry now? I, 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 I mean, when you started a few years ago, it's, it's something you have to do for passion. But now it is clearly being an Monitor advancement and, and it's, just, yeah. it's just grown. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got a long way to yeah. go, yeah. but how is the industry now? So far, I tell people now and again that we're getting there mm -hmm. slowly and gradually we're mm -hmm. getting there. Now, before you, we do things for nothing. Mm -hmm. Me, I tell people it wasn't for nothing. I was doing portfolio yes. to get me prepared to where I am yes. today. You understand? But right now we're getting... Stella, you get paid now over, you know, and the people say, hey, highest paid actress in Sierra wow. Yes. Now you get paid, you understand, in foreign currency as well. You get paid really good okay. for appearing now. So it's so for the record, <laughs> yeah. Don't be surprised when you see me towing the line of ETA. When you when I hear a dollar, then I know that I gotta I gotta be in that line. So yeah, I, I'm switching careers. I'm switching careers. So it's working. You understand? Even yeah. events. You understand? Mm -hmm. Before we don't. Now we. Do, I do. I produce Miss Mano River Union International yeah. Beauty Pageant Show. Guinea Liberia Serie and Cote d'Ivoire. You mm -hmm. understand? It takes a whole lot of on me, energy, money, and everything. Yes. But at the end of the day, you create that platform for not just you. The good thing about all of this. One thing that I'm enjoying doing all of this is the fact that it is not just for me. I'm building all the people. I'm giving yes. opportunities to all the Absolutely. women. I'm creating yeah. another generation of strong women mm -hmm. because I'm not just employing them to come and act for mm -hmm. me. I'm giving them opportunities and platform to showcase yeah. their talents and all that. I'm giving them the opportunity to see that yeah. as a woman, you cannot take your situation as a limitation exactly. to limit you for anything. Exactly. That the sky should be your limit. Aim at the sky and all that. Yeah. Uh, when we started the Miss Manor River Union, people were like, ah, it's a, that's huge. I got a minister that told me, that's bigger than you. You can't do it. You can't pull it no, and all men. that. Yes. You can't pull it and all that. The but, men are a problem. Yes. They, they, they are, were they not, are yeah. Problem. People were not saying that. All I was trying to do was to cross, uh, cross boundaries. People tried to say, oh. And it was a success. Success. Oh, and we're doing the good. second one again this December. We were supposed wow. to do it. This last April, year. yeah, okay. no, this, last year, but COVID. due to COVID, we all lost a whole lot of money that I don't want to wow. go. People can ask me, why did you bring so much? Oh, why wow. did you pull down so much? Why wouldn't I pull down? Why my eight, ten grand was at stake? <laughs> so we're going to make more of it. We're going to make Amen. more of it. Amen. So wow. we're looking forward to it this December. We're doing it again this December. And what we're doing this time around, because we're looking at advocating, uh, we're using that platform mm -hmm. to advocate on women and girls empowerment yeah. and uh, sexual violence and all that yeah. gender based violence among the sub region mm -hmm. not what we want to do because we're seeing so much violence being happening in Against all the four countries yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. and we don't have 
one point where we'll sit and talk about our issues mm -hmm. as Manor River and all that, where we have young people to. Uh, yeah. So what we're trying to do this year is going to be different. Have a seminar where we invite wow. people from different Manor River country. Then the pageant will be the climax. Wow, girl, yeah. your dreams are really big. As yeah. a matter of fact, they're bigger <laughs> than you. But I love it. That's how we need to dream. Yeah. We need to yeah. see beyond Sierra Leone. We need to think beyond what people are doing. Yes, you know that's the only way we. That's the only way. I mean. Look we'll at you. Get there. Yeah. Look at you. You're not only known in Sierra Leone. You're like, <laughs> you've, you've crossed the boundary <laughs> of Sierra Leone. Yeah. So as you did it to me, I will do it to you. When are you featuring me on your show, girl? <laughs> as you did to me, I'm doing to you. When? <laughs> Stella, <laughs> you've thrown me under the bus today. <laughs> Got me to talk about something that I've never <laughs> talked about. Now you're putting me on the spot because I'm yeah, on the, the spot. spot. Yeah. So she's putting me on the spot. <laughs> you know, my sister. Anyways, uh, you've been so supportive, Stella. You know, any day, any time. You're one strong woman. Uh, when you tell me, Etta, you're strong. I look at her and say, it's coming from one strong me, woman. You you're just a so one strong, strong woman. Over the years, I've seen you grow to this amazing woman. When you talk about media personalities in Sierra Leone, come on, women. Uh, Stella Bangura, of course. Stella Bangura. Stella Bangura. Stella, Stella Bangura. You've made me, and not just that, you've helped my career over these years, Stella. Uh, I know anytime I call you, whether it's assistant, I want this done, that done, that, that. You are just always there. People say we don't support ourselves. Yeah. I tell them, no, few women, there are few women and you're part of these few women that wow. have supported my cause Thank all you. this year. Happy. You believed in me and I want to tell people for once, I want to use this opportunity. To say thank you for Aww. everything that you've been doing for my heart. <laughs> I am very, like, very grateful. Listen, yeah, I'm so yeah. emotional. Yeah. I don't want to start tearing up now. Yeah. Gosh, like, I'm literally starting to cry in almost all my shows <laughs> now. You <laughs> even don't do this to me, but thank you so but that's much. True, Stella. Thank you you've so much. So and, much. But I mean, I'm, maybe it's because of the way I grew up, maybe because of the fact I didn't grow up in Sierra Leone. But mm -hmm. I mean, I don't feel threatened by other women. I see women, I want to see the next beautiful, sexy, empowered, you know, rich woman. Yes. Do you understand? The yes. more we have such, the better for us. The more opportunities. And, and you know, the, yeah. the way, the way I view life is when you grow, when you, when you're climbing the ladder, you got to pull people, people as along. you go. Because you never know what can happen anytime. At all. You never know what yeah. can happen. Yeah. Life can yeah. change. Yeah. I mean, I, I see this. In my life, I yeah. see this in the life of my family members, yeah. and I've seen you just have to be good. You just, yeah. you know, this this bad hat that we have, it doesn't take us anywhere. 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 It's okay for you to shine, Etta. It's an It's okay view. for you to be the brightest star in the room. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. It's your time. It's your own we time. We have to understand that we all we all have a race. We are all running our own individual race, and we all have our own destination. Yeah. They are different. Do you understand? I need you to get here. You need me to get here. But the more we help each other, that's the only way we can succeed. Yes. So don't feel, don't feel threatened when you see a strong woman. Yes, it, it can be her. Yeah. It should be her. Yeah. Let's stop asking the question. But that's Why our time. not A only? But that's our time. Do you understand? You understand? So, and that's, that's how I am. I yeah. mean, I, any way, I, I meet people and how I can support. I do it and I do it genuinely and I don't do it in the expectation that you're going to give me X, Y, Z. No. You should be proud just, of yourself for that do because it. people tell, we tell ourselves every now and again that we don't have women that support yeah. me in Sierra Leone. But Stella, you've been one strong woman behind another yeah. strong woman. Yeah. My success story will not be complete uh, without you. Uh, I know that. I know the struggle that I went through for Miss Manor River, you know, uh, and I know the role you played. Mm -hmm. I know you're that person that is waiting any day. I'll say, eh, eh, Stella, do this. Yeah. You're willing and ready yeah. to do that. And so when am I featuring you, Stella? <laughs> my next movie. Matter of fact, I'm looking at, I'm, they, they've hey, done the story me a already. Scene, huh? no, yes. Give me the posh girl scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm giving you the non-Stella scene. The struggling scenes. <laughs> so, I love to see that. I love to see that. But let me thank you as well for the amazing person you are. You, you are not going to know how strong an individual you are until you begin to actually probably sit down 
and begin to watch yourself and reflect on all the things you've done. And I will tell you, you are so powerful, you're selfless. I mean, I, I wish I probably had a three hour show and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to exhaust it just discussing about you and the amazing work you do. Please don't change, please don't give up. I know that the world and several unions can get you to a point like you become like, you know what, I'm gonna be this person. Don't change, you are who you are and whatever you're doing is not for the haters. It's for that one person, like you mentioned, that girl who said yeah. it's because of what you did. Yeah. She's yeah. alive today. Yeah. And there's so many people that need you. So yeah. don't look, you know, when you, know, yeah. when, when you have a, a, a star, yeah. there's going to be so many challenges. There's going to be so many people fighting because they see it. Yeah. And you're one of those people. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming on my show. You're Thank really, you, you know, me I'm, listen, Etta, I'm going to definitely have to bring <laughs> you back. This is uncompleted <laughs> conversation, but please help me thank Etta for coming on the show. And I'm going to share all her information so you can, you know, reach out to her. She's always willing to get on board new people, support people. So if there's any way you think she can help you in terms of advice, you know, I know she's more than, more than, more than happy to do that. Thank you so much. Coming up next are my final words. We'll be back. In my final words, my guest shows us that dreams can come true if only we put in the work and never give up. She reminds us that we cannot and should not be defined by our experiences, no matter how horrible they may be. There'll be many challenges and instances when we just feel like throwing in the towel. Many will not buy into your dreams, while many will want to discourage you simply because they do not believe it is achievable. You must therefore work extra hard to prove those naysayers wrong. The red carpet will not be laid out for you, so be ready to fight for your success. It doesn't matter if you're born into poverty or a disadvantaged home, all that matters is if you choose to remain in that status or use it as an excuse for who or where you are. Thanks for watching tonight's amazing conversation. Do share your thoughts on the show on our Facebook page, on our website, and even on our YouTube channel. And um, don't forget to log on to www.onthespotwithstella.com. A special thanks to my sponsor, National Revenue Authority. Together, we can build Sierra Leone by paying our taxes. I'll be back again next week, but till then, stay fabulous.